So what is this film really about? That's you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're good. It's about, uh, <clears throat> it's about gossip, obviously. It's uh, about how uh, powerful the spoken word can be and, and uh, how dangerous it can, could end up. It's, uh, I don't know, I, I was talking before, it's, it's sort of a sar sarcastic uh, finger pointing at, at the audience as well because uh, a topic like gossip is something that everybody likes to hear but they don't want to admit to and they pray it's not about them. So uh, it sort of sucks you in uh, in this whirlwind of a room and you know it, you know it's, uh, or you think that it's bullshit from the beginning, can I say that bullshit? It, you think it's bullshit from the beginning but uh, it turns out to, to really cause a lot of problems and hurt a lot of people and it's kind of uh, yeah, about thanks. that sort yeah. of, is that right? <coughs> it, well for this kid, this <coughs> poor schmuck, or this rich schmuck, Bo, uh, what is at stake is his freedom and his reputation amongst his peers and uh, uh, his whole life is turned upside down by this willful act of gossip spread by these, these two and the one on the other side of the big lip screen there. Um, so everything is at stake and then the movie, and like you're saying, the kind of the, the wink wink nudge nudge thing that it does at the end of the movie, the, what is at, at greater stake is is these kids and this school and this rumor, the, whole, the, the price that they pay is truth and the price that they pay is reality. And so at the end of the day, this kid getting caught up in this rumor and these people spreading this rumor is not about him going to jail or whatever happens to Kate. God, it's hard to talk about this movie because you can't say anything about the film. Really but what is truly at stake mm -hmm. is truth and fiction and the power of gossip and the power of the spoken word. I'm the perpetrator, I'm the guy, the instigator. Um, the purple trader. Yeah, we we <laughs> we uh, we all uh, we the three roommates, me, Norman, and Lena, have we have this little game that we play. Sometimes when we go out and see what what lie we can create to get free drinks or something like that. So we realize our power that we have in, in manipulation. So we decide as a project for the journalism class to start to create a false rumor about somebody that we all kind of consensually don't like. And it was, and it's Josh and Kate, and because they're still like this perfect couple, so we're like, let's start a rumor about them, and track it, and see how people tell the story, and see, you know, as it mutates, and see how uh, how ugly it can get. Well, obviously, it gets out of hand, and it gets a little too ugly. Um, but I'm the guy who's uh, kind of saying, hey, we should do this, we should do this, it'd be cool, it'd be cool. And once it gets scary, and once the cops are getting involved, and they're saying, let's back out of this, I'm saying, no, let's go forward with it. But otherwise, we're, you know, contradicting ourselves. Take it to so, its end. You know, he's kind of the, the, the mad scientist. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think what, what Norman was saying was, was cool, but it, we were talking about the internet before, and there's a, there's a cool parallel there. There's, there's a certain anonymity? What's the word? Anonymity. Uh, anonymity. Yeah. Okay, very, very, thank you. And in, 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 in spreading gossip, because it's not about you, and you didn't hear it, uh, and you didn't start it. Well, in this case, we did start it. But, <clears throat> well, like on the internet, when you can get on there and say anything you want, because you're in the privacy of your own home, without fear you don't of have to face you don't, without fear of repercussion. You're completely anonymous, and that's when all this shit comes out, and uh, the, the stuff that wouldn't come out when you're having to face someone one on one like this, because you'd be too cowardice to say anything, um, and uh, and and you don't. There, there's no uh, there's no repercussions. So so you can tell gossip because it doesn't have any effect on you. It has an effect on maybe down the line of someone you know, someone you're telling you're telling the story about, but. Um, and also, you, the moral... It's how careless people can be about telling it, you know? And, and another reason is because of the moral burden is alleviated from people. When, when it is anonymous, and it's specifically when it's not truly about people that you know, <coughs> yeah. people tell the guy, I mean, this is like the whole celebrity idea. People will say things about celebrities because they don't know them. So there's no, you don't, you don't feel particularly bad saying a horrible thing about somebody you don't know because you don't have to see how that affects the other human's life. And plus the way people view celebrities as not even humans anymore. I mean, right. like they're this, this other... And so this rumor they're started... They're the characters they play in the movies or on TV, so with, how can they suffer? With what? no personal relationship at the beginning between the three of you and these two poor kids, myself being one of them and Kate being the other, you're more willing, like I said, to, to create this rumor about them than you would be about each other. Like, you're not going to spread a rumor about him because you have to deal with the repercussions of what that means in his life and how that, complicated. that affects the <laughs> relationship. <laughs> next question. But with no personal animus between them, there's but kind there's of freedom there's also another freedom twist to why, why you guys are chosen. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't really been the victim of it yet. So I, I, I can't imagine what that would be like. Um, 
you know, being the, the, the victim of something in, in the Inquirer or, or all these, these gossip magazines, especially if it's not true, uh, or especially if it is true and it's not a good thing, not something you're proud of, it's just something about your private life or something. Um, but something completely falsified uh, that you can't stand any ground on trying to, trying to you know, redeem yourself. It's like, why well, this isn't well. true. You know? Knives work well. Knives? Yeah. yeah. Right. But, you know, it's tough because you're, you're in the public eye. You're up there on, in front of everyone for, for everyone else to judge and sit there and go, I like his hair. I like the way he acts. I don't like this. I don't like that. And, you know, that's one of the, you know, from the press, they say, hey, you know what job you're doing. You know you're a celebrity. You know what you're getting into, so don't complain head. about it, you know. But Kill I've never been the head. subject of, <laughs> of I've never start. been a victim yet, so I'll tell you, you know. Talk to him next year. Yeah, talk to me next year, maybe.